I am friend of Lima. <laughs> sure, this was a great idea. Good morning internet, it is 7.30 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Kirindi forest here in Madagascar. And if you've seen the last video, then you've seen that I went on a night walk, which was amazing. But so during the night, very different animals are active than during the day. So before I'm gonna get back on the bike, I'm gonna go for one more walk in the forest to see what animals are active during the day. So I'm wearing uh, my long sleeve shirt again, just for like bugs and insects and stuff. <laughs> anyway, and when I come back, um, yeah, then we're gonna ride back to Moronda. I keep on saying the, that name wrong, Morondava, basically where we came from. So we have to go the same way back, which is going to be interesting and uh, because there's no other way to go because of uh, yeah, water and rivers and all of that. So that's going to be fun, uh, but first uh, let's go for a walk in the forest. That's one big spider, but it's not dangerous, no? Not dangerous. It's beautiful this actually. Is, uh, golden web spider. Golden web spider. This is Marcel, by the way. He is my guide. He also went with me on the night walk in the previous video. <laughs> so there are these ants, which is actually quite fascinating because they make a hole in the ground basically to lure a snake in because snakes like to go inside the hole and, you know, hide themselves. And the ants want that because the ants then feed on the shredded scales of the snake. How cool is that? So this is a flower of the baobab. Amazing, right? Or actually it's the inside. So it has like a... Where did you put that wrap? Ah, yeah. So it's kind of wrapped in here. But probably some lemurs were eating the baobab flowers. So they took the wrap off <laughs> and threw it on the ground. It's an amazing flower, right? Of the baobab. So this is a, an orchid. They call it wild vanilla, but it's not really vanilla. It's actually an orchid. Look how big it is. We have not seen the lima yet. I think he has one.
This one's so curious. <laughs> it got so close. Okay. Is that one so young or? Almost touching. He's so close. Was that amazing or what? Wow, the lemurs were fantastic. They came so close. They were maybe one meter away, like really close. They were super curious uh, and just making these cute little sounds. I am super happy. We're having a Malagasy breakfast. This is called susur, susur which is rice, but then cooked as far as understood with more water than normally, <laughs> I think, and omelette. I am gonna pack up and get ready to go. Bye! <laughs> okay, let's go. Let the water fun begin again! <laughs> My gear is uh, completely clean again. The lady that worked here washed my stuff, which is super nice. And I'm gonna do my best to keep it slightly cleaner today. The 
least it didn't rain last night. Oof. So technically that means that the water levels cannot be higher than they were on the way in. And they might even be like a few centimeters lower if we're lucky. Yeah, Madagascar in the rainy season <laughs> is something else, right? But you know, everything has its pros and cons because now, for example, the baobabs have leaves. Whereas in the winter season or the dry season, they don't have leaves. And well, a lot of the plants don't have leaves, so it's all a little bit more barren. And now, of course, it's, everything is nice and green. There are certain animals that are only that only come out during this time of the year. So you know, also barely anyone visits uh, Madagascar this time. So you get the whole place to yourself. This time, uh, see if I can keep it a little cleaner. This time I'm gonna give him a safe distance. Oh, he's gonna go all the way around. Aha, okay. <laughs> okay! of people walking here. Yeah, DJ told me that most people cannot afford transport. So they walk 20 kilometer, 40 kilometer, 60 kilometer. They walk. Seriously? See if we can have a little snack here. We survived the baddest part, so from here on it will be better, I think. So in Madagascar they call this moof ball, whereas all Dutch people know that this is just an olie ball. It literally is an olie ball, but here it's called moof ball. Mm. So good. <laughs> you don't have to wait until New Year's to eat this here. Okay, one Oli Bowl later. <laughs> okay. Ready to continue. Here comes the bus. bikes really needed a wash. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> bike 
streets are clean. We are back in town. Okay, so this is uh, Bienvenu, and he is uh, my local guide for now because I want to explore a little bit around uh, Monrodava. No, Mon Morundava. Morundava. Keep on saying this wrong, I'm sorry. And what better way to do that is to take one of these um, squeaky brakes, to take one of these cycle rickshaws, and they're actually called pus pus or cycle pus. No? What? Yes. <laughs> so we are now. In the push push on the way first to the market and then we're gonna see some more lemurs because there are 107 species of lemur in Madagascar. Madagascar is the only country, the only place in the world where lemurs actually exist. I don't know if I already said that. So but you will not find all the species in one place so they're very, they all have their kind of own parts of the island where they live. So in Kirindi Forest, I saw four out of the five different ones that live there. But here they have an, another one, again, uh, or maybe several, I, I'm not quite sure. So in Kirindi Forest, they're really wild, um, but I think here they are, they, they'll come closer to humans. Speaky breaks. First we're going to go to the market and I thought what better way to get around than going in this pus pus because that's what everybody uh, is doing, see? <laughs> we're going faster. Overtaking pus pus left and right. Perfect, yes, good. <laughs> I need to buy some more credits for my phone, some internet. Ah. Ah. Uh, uh, combien de giga? Seulement je uh, internet giga. Okay, internet credit done. Oh. Look at all that produce. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Busy markets. Ah, is this uh, the pistache? Yeah. They call this pistache, but actually it's peanuts. <laughs> A bit confusing that you think it's pistache nuts, but it's uh, they're peanuts. Wow, that looks so fresh. Oh, dried fish. Prawns. Oh, here, here. here they are. That's the white ah. one. And this, oh, is many different species. Three different ones. Oh. Wow, they are so cool. Wow. Um, there's a. Oh. <laughs> there's, there's a lever on me. Hi. 
Ați ia, brate! Ai tu! There's one on my leg and on my shoulder. I am friend of Lima. Oh, oh come on, my legs are not that big, guys. Oh, oh hi. <laughs> what you doing? Nice pose. Yeah, now everybody, everybody, board. come on board. <laughs> sure, this was a great idea. I am back at the guest house. Um, I had to fresh up a little bit because one of the lemurs actually decided that I was his human and he marked me. He marked his territory and he peed on me. <laughs> so uh, I just changed, but... Uh, now that was really amazing. I, I didn't realize that that was actually a sanctuary. So those lemurs were rescued. So that's why they're so used to humans. And um, yeah, they're being looked after. And that's also the reason why you have different species kind of together in a group, because in the wild that doesn't happen. Um, so yeah, I think it was just amazing to see many of them in the wild. And then, yeah, some of them under the care of uh, people. Yeah, really good experience, really nice place. Um, so I'm gonna end this video. That was it for today. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and then I will see you in the next video.